So my friend just washed them? Yes. Perfect. You too. Eat here. Mmm. Wow. It's sweet. Okay, thank you. Mmm. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Tekiri, Kerala, India. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to the neighboring state of Tamil Nadu, also known as Tamanadu. I've actually been there before, I've been to Chennai, but this area I haven't been to. It's one of the biggest states in southern India and it's only a 20 minute drive. So we're going in this vehicle, in this Jeep, we're gonna go over there, see what's there, I'm gonna kiss it, I'm gonna come back and explore more Tekiri. Are you guys ready? Let's go. All right. Let's go. Hello, sir. You ready? We're ready. Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Dosa. Said, uh, yeah. Dosa. Dosa. <laughs> <laughs> Tamil Nadu makes some of the best dosas on the planet. It's a little different than, from the ones here in Kerala. They're like more roasty, more crispy. So this is basically a, a safari vehicle, right? Yeah, it's a safari vehicle. Yeah. This is for off-roading yes. in the jungle. Gavi is a beautiful place nearby Thakadi. If you're visiting Thakadi, you can also visit Gavi. I travel with him to Gavi. Beautiful place. David, this is coffee plantation. You can see real red coffee beans here. You want to try one? Yeah. Let's do this. Coffee. How are we going to get up here? Let's... These, right? Yes. Which one? There's like red, there's brown. Red. Red ones. Red? Okay. Oh, man. I don't like it. <laughs> Not my favorite coffee. <laughs> we are going to the market area. Tomorrow is Pongal. Tomorrow is 16. 16 is Pongal, Jan 16. So they are it's crowded now. This is the border. We are going to cross Kerala and reach Tamil Nadu. From right here onwards, it is Tamil Nadu. Yeah, wow. right here. I mean, we drove like 10 minutes. That's yeah. it. Less than 10 oh. minutes. Five wow. minutes. Five minutes. Incredible. Let's cross. And that's the Tamil Nadu state government bus. Okay. From here onwards, it's Tamil Nadu. It's the Tamil Nadu state government bus, the green one. What are those people? They are pilgrims. They are walking to the temple in Kerala. Shabrimala is a temple, famous temple. They walk all the way from Tamil Nadu, from Karnataka, from different places and reach there for prayer. The biggest difference I feel from entering Tegari to exiting Tegari is that over here it's more wild, more forest, more bush, lots more bush. Over there on the other side, it's all tea plantations. Here is completely wild. We're going down because Tamil Nadu is actually a flatland. Not that many mountains, so we're like exiting the mountains, going straight down. Wow, this is really cool. I mean, this is so different. Yeah. It's, and it's really, like, what, one thing you'll notice really fast is how dry it is, because it's green, but you can see they're becoming brown. I've been in Kerala for, I think, five or six days so far, and I haven't seen not one monkey, not one. I enter the forest here in Tamil Nadu, and I see tons of monkeys. Monkeys to the left, monkeys to the right. Oh, the bonnet macaque. The Tamil language here, see, only the Korangu. Korangu, this is a Tamil language. The macaque is the monkey you'll see all over India. Certain places you see more, other places you see less. I mean, anywhere where it's a lot of forest, a lot of jungle, you'll see a lot. I've seen a lot in Mumbai, like a lot of monkeys. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is it. This is like a super winding road going downhill. Because obviously, this is like the entrance to the mountains of Kerala. Tamil Nadu and Kerala are separated by a mountain range. David, can you see those pipelines? These are the water pipelines from Kerala to Tamil Nadu. And these are the plains of Tamil Nadu agricultural lands. Tamil Nadu, Kerala, they are the same actually. But politically there may be differences, but they are good friends. I'm extremely happy we came here on this Jeep because there's a lot of traffic, lots of cars, really winding road. This car is like an aggressive 4x4. It really holds, it like, it like grips the road really tightly. And going down the mountain, there's actually a tiny, tiny church of one of those turns. It was one of the tiniest I've ever seen, but it's like a little thing. And then you have more monkeys, more forest, and here we are in the flatlands of Tamal Nad. Wow, so what's the name of the town? We are going to Kambam. Kambam is the name. This area is mainly farmland. They have green beans, cotton trees, palm trees, banana trees. It's also extremely hot here. The second we came down the mountain, the heat just hits you. Boom! Super dry, super arid. But yeah, beautiful place. We're gonna get to this town now. We're gonna do some stuff there. We're gonna explore. But as you can see, it's just flatlands. Flatlands. 
All that, all that mountain range, it's all Kerala. Look at this. We are about to see a vineyard. A vineyard. I didn't know there were the vineyards here. These are vineyards. See, you are already there. Yeah, we are reaching. Wow. Well, they don't actually make wine here. They just make grapes. Yeah. Right? That's it. I've been to many vineyards in my life, and usually they have like rows of vines. Here it's different. Here they have it like on top. So they, they basically like put like, oh, so that's like that? Yeah. Like that? It's wires? Just after pruning. That's just after pruning? Okay, so it's a bunch of wires, and they put the vines on top, and I guess you go under, right? And then from there you get the grapes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Awesome. So they actually make wine in this area? Wine, not here. They have factories somewhere farther from here but they they farm from here they harvest from here and they go there so in case you guys don't know there's two different species of cotton plants and this one is like the cotton fruit so inside so this is like a tree it's big and you have fruits here if you open it if a dry one if you're opening you'll see the cotton but there's another one which is bushy uh, i don't see it here it's in gujarat those places we will find it. and here we are inside the vineyard Lots of grapes right here. Lots of grapes. We're actually gonna try some here. Oh, this is awesome, man. Wow. What a good. There's so many, man. There's so many. You gotta find a good one. Look at these. Big amount of grapes. I'll just get this guy. No, you can take the whole thing. Yeah, well, there's two here, so yeah. I'll just grab one. Uh -huh. Right there. This is so unique. I've never been to a vineyard in India. Yeah, oh, wait, wait, I'm with the washer, yes. With the washer, okay, yeah, let's wash it for sure. Yes. So my friend just washed them? Yes. Perfect. You too. You too. Mmm. Wow. It's sweet. Okay, thank you. Mmm. Take the ones that looks really nice. Mmm. Wow. Refreshing. And this heat is perfect. Like probably a million of them. So who was just telling me? One kilogram of this. Is 50 rupees. Yes. 50 rupees. Just 50 rupees. That's crazy. So you got five kilos for three dollars. So they want me to cut some more grapes for them. Oh, okay. Look at that. It's a huge <laughs> handful. And this is not even a kilo, this is like a quarter of a kilo. I'll take it. <laughs> David, you're asking about wine. So we'll try some wine. Yeah. And, uh, but non alcoholic. Non alcoholic wine. Non alcoholic? That's a tease. <laughs> <laughs> okay, grape tease. <laughs> no, so, so it's grape juice. Basically. Grape juice, yeah. Like grape yeah. juice. It's great. Like grape juice, but not juice, not wine in between them. Okay, awesome. I'm down. The town? Yes. The, the, the good alone. Yes. David, we are not going up to Kampam because we have to go back and try tribal food. We'll stop at Gudalur and we'll go back. Alright, we're stopping for some wine. Not alcoholic wine. No, no alcohol. Yes. Huh. That's it? Alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. non alcohol. Alcohol mixing. David, we need small bottles, no? Yeah. So uh, this is non alcoholic, this is alcoholic. We need non alcoholic. I don't want to drink any alcohol. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Grape juice. Has a little bit of gas. A little bit. Mm. Super light. Yeah. That's it. That's the wine. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's very fruity, it's light, but a lot of gas. That's it, guys. And they also have honey right here. Jungle honey. Looks amazing. They have, what is this? This is dry fruits with honey. What? This is really cool. Big honey, 330. Small honey, 180. Cashin, big size, 240. Small size, 140. I love honey. Love honey. I can drink it every single day, like a big spoon every morning. And I've never seen this before. Honey with nuts. Had to buy it. What was it, 140? 140. 140, so like a dollar fifty, something like that. Awesome. Let's go. We're finishing up here in Tamil Nadu and we're gonna go back up into the mountains of Kerala. But before that, we're gonna get some coconuts. We're looking for a coconut vendor who has like the orange coconut. It's nice, it's refreshing. I love the flesh, the milk. Oh, it's so good. We're just going through the town now and over here again, flat, 
Pot, palm trees, banana trees, everything. Hello. Here we go, coconuts. Oh, bananas. These are different bananas. These look great. And the small yellow bananas. I love these, man. These are the best. And here we go. There's so much coconut in there. Wow, this is full. Well, the straw is tiny. <laughs> Mm. Oh, so refreshing. Tastes a little different, right, from the green one? A little different. Yeah. Wow, it took me forever to finish that. My friend, let's cut it up. Okay, guys, so he cut it and he moved everything to one side, and here we go all the flesh. Wow. There was a lot of coconut water in there, but in terms of flesh, very little. Super delicious, very soft, milky. 40 rupees. 40 rupees? 40 rupees, not bad. Delicious coconut. Oh, that was really good. Try this one. This is banana, red banana. You can try this. I haven't seen a red banana before. Different, man. Mm, super ripe. Mm. Sweet. It's different. It, it tastes has a slight plantain taste. Wow, mm, good. This is better than the regular bananas. I actually love these right here. See the small ones. These little ones are delicious. And they're so easy to pop. You just pop them like four in a row. Mm. These guys are filling me up on fruits. Lots of fruits. Yeah, these are the best. These are so good. Mm. I don't think it's ripe enough, but it's good. I highly suggest eating one banana every single day. Potassium. Which one do you like more? Red or this one? Red one now. Red one. That was the best. I'll take this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Woo! What are you seeing there? Those are Sakya Mountains. Sahia Mountains divide Kerala with the rest of the region. After that, it's After that, it's Kerala. So we have to go straight back up the mountains. I mean, they look huge. This side, Tamil Nadu, is flat, super flat. Over there, everything's a winding road. Yeah. <laughs> going up the mountain was a lot faster and a lot smoother than going down the mountain. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really was a lot easier. I think when you're going down, it's like you're hitting the brakes, you gotta be really be careful. Yeah. Going up, you're just hitting it, just going. <laughs> and this is the checkpoint between Tamal Nad and Kerala. We're back in Kumli, and now we're gonna go try some banana chips. If you guys don't know, Kerala is the most famous place in the world for banana chips. Basically, banana chips are made out of banana and coconut, coconut oil yeah. and that's it yeah. that's the two things that this state has the most of obviously coconuts and bananas exactly. no other state has it right I don't know. <laughs> only in Kerala and we're going to this place it's called Kerali chips Kerali chips Kerali chips okay let's do it ready to try some chips we're not just gonna try banana chips we're also gonna see how this guy makes it basically he opens the bananas he takes about 20 out right puts in a bucket once he's ready he, then he gets like a little, uh, like a little tool. It's like a shaver where it cuts, right? And then he, quickly he gets four in his hand, and he like cuts them all fast, 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 fast. As they get cut, they fall right into the frying pan, and they fry up. It takes around how long? 10, 15 minutes? 15 minutes. It takes 15 minutes for them to fry up perfectly. They come out, and they don't just have the regular banana chips. They also have banana chips with pepper. They have banana chips with uh, masala. They have jackfruit so jackfruit chips they have banana sweet banana chips and they have some even sweeter ones so which one are we trying the regular ones right this one is masala plain that masala chips we are making in turmeric coconut oil salt and spices and uh, masala also right? this one is a plain that's uh, seed chips it's making coconut oil raw and sweet banana 
and this pepper banana chips this making pepper and banana coconut and primer this one is jaggery with uh, sharkar uperi this kolam tong kerala is sharkar uperi making for jaggery banana jaggery cumin powder and ginger powder cardamom and black like chips and here we have the sampler right banana chips my banana chips i'm just gonna grab one really fast Salty. I like it. You don't taste any oil, obviously. No coconut oil. But you have like super dense banana chip. Mmm. Crunchy, salty. Guys, it was good. No masala, no masala. I want some masala one, man. I'm gonna have to buy some masala one. Okay. Mmm. Keep eating them. They're delicious, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This place has banana chips, but they have a bunch of other stuff, including homemade chocolate right here. They got peanuts. They have, I think this is honey with peanuts. This looks amazing. Oh my God, dry fruits? <laughs> I'm taking it. <laughs> hey, again, thank you again. Chocolate? Chocolate? Yeah. My friend here wants me to try the almond chocolate. Whoa. That's almost like chocolate fudge. It just like <laughs> falls apart. Mmm, so good. You make it? Before, before no? my what? That's incredible. That's better than Swiss chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again, thank you. You guys have to go to that place right there, try some banana chips and you gotta be careful here. You know what? I'm down to go shopping. Should we go check that guy out? Or should we just go here? This one, yeah. Southern Crafts, Handicrafts and Jewelry. The store has a lot of craft goods. I love the elephants, but I'm looking for a mask. The only one I found was this cow. It's not a mask, but it's something for the wall. It's beautiful, really colorful. Let me see this. So how much, my friend, how much for this one? 3,200? Yeah, that's after discount 10%. 2,000. 2,000. Yeah, that's, that's some number you put. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we gotta do better than that. Let me see this thing. Super nice though. All right, so my friend had us for 3,600 and we negotiated to 3,000. You have a deal. You have a deal. 3,000, so that's like $40, 40 something US dollars, something like that. I like it a lot. I mean, the, what I'm nervous about is that I might just think I like more on this trip and then I have to buy another one. <laughs> it was good. How much was it total? 42 bucks. Okay, I'll take it. 3,000. Thank you. So I got it for 3,000. 42 US dollars. I think it's awesome. I've never seen a cow that colorful, that beautiful. It's something I'm gonna have on my wall forever. I remember Tekari my whole life and Kerala, obviously. When you travel, you should definitely collect the things that you love. For me, it's mask or something from my wall that goes with my mask collection. It's just a way for me to remember, you know, the time I was there. Pretty awesome experience always. And yeah, this place is a great shop. This is called Southern Crafts. They have like a million, literally like a million different elephants, small, large. They also have these, which I love, like this one. But it's just, it's just way too big. Just way too big for me. I mean, I would take it. We had an incredible day today. We went to Taman Ladu. We tried some wine out there, which wasn't alcoholic. We saw the grapes, obviously. You know, we went from the mountains into the, the lowlands, Tamal Nadu, Tamal Nad. Love you guys. I need to go back there one day. And then we came back here. We tried up some banana chips. Really incredible experience. Next time you come to India, come to Kerala and try banana chips. It was invented here. Banana and coconut are like the root of Kerala. And then I came over here and bought some stuff. So when you come here, definitely buy some stuff from this guy. Very nice guy. You can negotiate. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, if you love this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kerala. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.